So today I've got Janet Lowndes with me and Janet's going to speak to you about yoga therapy. Hi. Um, so I've been asked firstly to just introduce myself and I am a yoga teacher and yoga therapist as well as a psychologist and my original training was in psychology and after having worked individually with clients with um, all sorts of mental health issues I moved away from psychology for a while and went to study yoga in, in India and it was really through that study of yoga that I um, discovered a different way of working therapeutically with people from a, a different paradigm, really a, a paradigm that taught me that, that um, a healing relationship could be one uh, that's not so much about changing people or fixing people, but rather about assisting people to discover their own true nature. So um, my what I do now is work individually with clients from really a combined paradigm from the yogic perspective and the Western psychological perspective and the combination to me really fits very well as a, as a yoga therapy approach. Um, so that's most of my work now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you want to talk to us a little bit about your understanding of yoga therapy and you also mentioned the difference between yoga therapy and therapeutic yoga. Yeah. Um, look, I think yoga therapy is really about the individual uh, healing use of yoga or the healing power of yoga and for me what I consider to be the difference between therapeutic yoga is that therapeutic yoga is about conditions so for example you could have a therapeutic yoga class for depression whereas yoga therapy is about people and you know people are we're all different and even though we may be experiencing a condition for the depression example uh, five different people all experiencing depression are five different people who all have different needs and all um, will require different therapeutic work. So my feeling is that we, we have a bit of a continuum and at one end is, is general yoga classes that can absolutely, all yoga is, is potentially therapeutic in nature. Um, and then from there we go to therapeutic yoga which is very focused on particular conditions and um, people with those conditions might come to a therapeutic yoga class and that they will can learn a lot about how they can manage those conditions or make changes to their, their lifestyle and practices to enable healing. And then at the other end of the continuum is individual yoga therapy. And I, um, one of my influences has been a psychotherapist called Irvin Yalom, uh, a master psychotherapist. And he says, we need to create a new therapy for every client. And which very much to me fits within the, the yoga therapy idea that it is about a yoga therapist and an individual person meeting and the, an assessment taking place, a, a very broad assessment that looks at the um, all, all kinds of issues in that person's life and um, what their needs are and that what the conditions are that they're experiencing. But yoga therapy doesn't work with conditions, it works with people who might be experiencing specific conditions. Mm. And um, just moving on to a different topic with um, the role of the Australian Association of Yoga Therapists. Mm -hmm. um, you've been involved with that association mm -hmm. and um, would you like to tell us a little bit about your involvement, the association and perhaps the role you see it playing in yoga therapy in Australia? Sure. Um, I'm not currently on the association anymore. I was on the association for the first couple of years from its formation. Uh, and look, I, I think that that association has come along at a very important time in Australia. Lots of people are uh, there are a lot of people who've actually been practicing yoga therapy in Australia for some time and yoga therapy itself is actually not new. This is it's not a new practice, it's a very ancient practice and, and probably in some ways I think yoga therapy is going back to some of the roots of how um, the early yoga teachings were, were delivered in a very individual, uh, tailored fashion. So the AAYT really is a, started as a group of people who were very interested in um, in bringing together people who uh, wanted to either further their knowledge and understanding in working as a yoga therapist or people who were already doing that and needed to create some sangha and community around that kind of work. So uh, probably the main role of AAYT at the moment is to be clarifying what this thing called yoga therapy is actually about and what the, the training standards or qualifications um, are that might actually enable a person to um, to feel confident or comfortable working as a yoga therapist. Mm. And where do you see it all going in terms of yoga therapy in Australia? It's an interesting question. I wish I had my yogic crystal ball. Um, look, I think 
yoga in Australia is growing in all sorts of areas and my um, my hope I suppose is that yoga therapy continues to grow and to be recognized as a significant um, profession in its own right and certainly for me the things that I have learned through yoga and what I do with my clients which I call yoga therapy um, has so much more breadth and depth than what I was able to do with people before so the ability to work with a person in a, a holistic um, way, to work with body, to work with breath, to work with the mind from the paradigm of yogic philosophy, is I, I see how enormously powerful that is. And I see the enormous healing uh, capacity of yoga at that, that deeper level. So I really hope that, that more and more people start to understand what yoga therapy is and um, that more and more clients have the ability to access skilled, uh, qualified, experienced yoga therapists who can help assist them to really engage in a deeper process of healing. Mm. Do you have any other further comments that you want to make about yoga as therapy or any other related issue? Um, maybe just one thing I'll mention is from my uh, professional experience, one uh, particular uh, specialisation I guess that I have in my counselling work is working with people with eating disorders and body image um, concerns and weight management issues and for me yoga therapy has been a wonderful tool at working with people who um, may have quite uh, conflictual or, or well, conflictual relationships with their body so many people I see first come to me their mind over here their body over here and this enormous chasm or this this conflict and war in between them so I think that the whole philosophy of integration through yoga of, of learning to live in this body and to be um, practice ahimsa and be gentle and kind to ourselves is is an enormous part of what the um, what yoga therapy can offer to people not just in that area but probably for all of us in living more uh, comfortably in our own skin.